College football 25 has plenty of things that are broken, but one thing that is supremely broken right now in every single game mode, ultimate team, regular, dynasty, head-to-head, -head, it don't matter. Quinchon Judkins, an absolute dog, okay? So this is what we're going to do. We're going to look at some things and crazy plays he does in the god dang foosball game. We're going to look and see if he's going to be the next uh, uh, Michael Vick of this era maybe the next bo jackson of this gaming era we'll see is he the most overpowered video game player ever possibly he's looking a little nasty so let's get into the deep end here look a 411 on mr quinshawn judkins he's a dog if you're new to college football at the end of me of us talking about these crazier plays and situations that we've seen from quinshawn judkins and in the the conversation relating to the game and how broken he is, and possibly some of the problems that he presents, right? Then we'll talk a little bit about his real life game and kind of how he compares and if EA did a good job if they did certain things. So let's start off right with the game. Quinchon Judkins has a special ability, which is Platinum Spins or Platinum 360. I forgot the particular name for it, but basically it gives him the fastest, the fastest spins in the game. And if you know anything about this little extremely broken game um ball carrier moves are overpowered in this game specifically the spin ah you you hit that circle that b button boy you you'll you'll transfer to different dimensions you'll 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 you you hit circle you'll you got dang you'll be juking out people you ain't even know was there you you ain't you ain't even synced it it, it is happening it's an absolute craziness so imagine the most broken thing in the game and then one of the fastest, most powerful, most explosive players has it on one of the most overpowered teams. And we'll talk about Ohio State. When we start talking about his real life game, we'll get into how he fits into the uh, the the whole zeitgeist of college football. Uh, when we talk about him and his game, the way he fits in things and, and really how I describe him as a player. Um, but looking forward, um, I think it's very clear to see that the violence, the ferocity, the 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 pure spin like is he not dizzy dog he, he, is there not like a dizzy meter on him he can't he can't spin that fast that much he's throwing up skittles every day like this is ridiculous but you can see how overpowered you can see the distance travel you can see that people it's just impossible how am i supposed to tackle this how do you tackle this homie is lost i'm just like looking at these defenders and like they don't stand a chance dog they don't even stand a chance so it's it's a real testament to some broken things and and is this Bo Jackson Tecmo Bo Bo Jackson is this is it a hey, Madden uh, what was it seventeen Bo Jackson when they brought Bo Jackson back with it we've had some nasty Bo Jackson cards and, and I think this one especially because Quinchon in real life has a bit of power to him he's got a little pop to him you know and I'm saying he can get up and, and give you one of them ah he give you one of them ah you know what I'm saying like he can really do it to you. I think that's phenomenal. I think that's great. I think that's that's elite. Um, so if you're going to be using ultimate team, I believe he has some um, limits uh, LTD like gridiron hero like coming into it. So coming right out the back, he was one of the first 85, 89 overall players. Right. There was a giant glitch in a, a, a cut uh, an ultimate team when it comes to college football in which people were were pulling 89s and 85s for free or every single pack. They, they did some other crazy glitchness or, or, or whatever. Like so not only is this a plague because Quinshawn Junkins is is, you know, broken. And he's got this elite trait that no one has. But when you even go to the paid and money grab section, that is ultimate team. You have people who just can't compete unless you've done these glitches and have a Quinchon Junkins. There's Quinchon Junkins flying all over the places. They're wearing different uniforms and situations, and they're terrorizing, terrorizing your awful user defense. Mine included. Mine's terrible. I'm a menu merchant. Quinchon's a dog. He's a beast. He's a problem. He's an issue. The spinning, and, and I've only talked about just the spin, because the, uh, the thing is, it's really like doubling down on something that was already broken, right? But when we take another la layer and peel it back, Quinchon Junkins, purely just as a running back, already has great stats. Oh, yeah, and by the way, and we'll get to that when we talk about the full team. We'll get to that when we talk about the full team. Um, 
But yeah, he already has great speed. He's got great power. He's got an elite stiff arm. He can catch the ball. He's sm like, I just, what? How do you stop this? I, I don't I don't understand. I don't I can't even really give a, a comp. And I, and I think now is a good time. Now that we've kind of talked about how he's broken the game and probably is going to be the most overpowered player unless they 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 knew like how do you go from this to more like a better player in ultimate team? Like if this if this player is already this elite, I don't I don't understand. I'm not an ultimate team guy, so maybe maybe I know better than me. But this is I mean I mean they're wigglier than 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 a wiggle wiggly bee, dog. This is crazy. Unstoppable. This is why I stopped playing online. I, I broke too many controllers playing Ohio State. So is Quinchon Judkins, right? And and just for people who, you know, maybe not familiar with college football, you might be younger. This might be your first introduction. A lot of people's first introduction to college football, the actual sport, is going to be through video games. So let's talk about Quinchon Judkins, his game, and kind of how that relates to the video game and him being overpowered. Back in 2022, um, his freshman season he's a he's a three-star prospect i believe coming out of alabama when i watched what he did in 2022 17 touchdowns 1500 yards broke the school record at old miss this is that's an sec historic sec school broke the record school record there coming out into his rookie year and then comes in the next year and well first off let me just say he comes out that year right and i'm watching half of the season i'm like this is the best this is the best running back in college football. Like, I, I'm, I'm looking at the best running back in college football. Every single time I turned on an Ole Miss game, he was just breaking open a wide 20 or 30 or whatever. And and I think the defining factors of Quinshawn Judkins' game is is violence and 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 suddenness. I think I think those are the other things. He's got good speed. He's got great speed. He's fast. He can get up out of there. OK, but he gets caught very often. And, and I don't really think it's a reflection of him being slow. I think it's more so a reflection of what I said the first time, his violence. Like he he runs the ball in a violent way. That means a nasty stiff arm, a nasty stiff arm. If, he, if he's coming at it, it's like a chubby. You ever seen one of them dang pistol scrimps? Them pistol scrimps. That's why I like to call them. I like to call them dang pistol scrimps. He come out with that thing right there, and he get, he give me one of them wing dings. And, of course, the spin's crazy. I have I have personally never seen him spin at Mach 1. I don't know where and how and who. Who did the mocap for this spin? Because, G, I don't know there's a human alive that, that can spin like this. But what I do see is, like I said, suddenness, right? We, you'll see a lot of... He's he's a one cut guy when he gets into the hole. Really, when it comes to just how the Ole Miss offense is set up, right? It's it's a lot of and this is where we get to that. It's a lot of RPOs. It's a lot of spread uh, stuff, right? It's it's like the, it's like the new era of spread. And instead of just having uh, read options, it's you know a lot more RPOs. And with that, and, and those gaps, not gap schemes, but with those zone schemes, you know he's gonna have to put his foot in the ground and make a decision on the hole and get up out of there. And he does that with elite effectiveness. Now, I'm not super familiar because I know they're switching up. Uh, I believe they, they just uh, got a different offense coordinator. I believe it's Chip Kelly, if I'm not uh, wrong, over there in Ohio State. So I can't speak too much on specifically how the, that he'll be used in the offense in the modern or not modern in the real world Ohio State. But I know he's going to be used a lot. I like the more that I see him. And, and this is just because and, and this is the problem with video game. This is the problem with seeing. A player like this this way dunking on people just grabbing passes doing all this craziness it gets me thinking these crazy things and the things that i'm thinking is it reminds me just the video game just the video game character not the real life I, I think these are two different runners let me let me finish up my profile right suddenness explosiveness those are the, the defining factors is defining factors but not only that but power right he's he's a very powerful guy right oh yeah Thank you. Balance. This this guy is elitely balanced, and this is going to kind of go into my other trait because he's really surprised me. I don't think he caught a lot of balls out of the backfield in Ole Miss, um, and I could be wrong, um, but I think just because of the way that their offense was set up, uh, that, was, that was more of a, an offensive a schematic thing and less of him doing it because when I see him catch the ball, when I see him on tight roping like that, when I see him in certain spaces and places like that, I get very, very excited because – 
on watching a highlight film of him, right, I don't think you get the full, uh, you're going to have to watch game film of him. And that's where you see the suddenness. That's where you see more of that. Because the big runs is literally, like I said, him taking one step and I'm out of there and I'm, I'm on a foot race, right? There, there's there's only a few runs, but there's still some good, nice runs. Not, maybe not highlight big boy TikTok worthy, you know what I'm saying? But ones where he's just getting yards. He's not... It's not a lot of runs where he's not getting his four to five, right? Because he he's gonna do something to to make sure that he can effectively, violently go ahead and drag and pull to go ahead and get closer to you on that on line schedule, right? Now, wrapping up the video, um, he I think he does deserve this broken card, uh, not broken card, um, to just to be a broken player in general in, in college football. Like I said, as a rookie, as a rookie, and let's look at these stats here. As a rookie, as a as a freshman, fifteen hundred yards, seven touchdowns, and let's let's just get into some of the particular particulars. You know how PFF gets; they they, they be bringing up all types of crazy stuff. We're looking at a ninety point eight PFF grade over the last two seasons. This is over the last two seasons, two thousand seven hundred twenty six rushing yards. Again, fifteen one year, and then uh, his last year with eleven hundred yards. And let's not get it. Let's not get it uh, uh, tricked out because I told you seventeen touchdowns his his, his freshman year. How about? 15 of them things for you his, his sophomore year 1800 yards after contact 155 154 missed tackles forced. so this is everything you want in a running back at the collegiate level he's explosive he's not afraid to go catch the ball the balance is there it's elite and by the way they have another one of the best running backs in the nation in trey Avion henderson maybe i'll make a, a veal on him if he becomes broken but right now quinchon Jenkins is breaking the game and i think he's gonna break college football uh not just 25 the video game i think he's gonna break college football i don't think people understand like there's a lot of there's a lot weighing on the ohio state when you get the best running back like i said I, I, and he, he had a like a drop off year, but when you're comparing him to like the Blake Corms that was on a national championship run, the 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 Ollie Gordons and, and the different running backs, the the Bucky Irvings that had prominent runs and things of that nature, it's 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 easy to overlook Quinshawn Junkins, right? And I think that was the core reason for him to go to Ohio State. You know, it it there was a bit of a snafu, we'll say, uh, with him leaving. You know, uh, Lane Kiffin is a bit of a uh, um a character uh we should say so it seems to be him uh communicating how he felt about the whole situation because you got to understand this was a big name thing again he was coming off an 1100 yard 15 touchdown season with an sec team uh he had done great things for these for this team for the last two years and 1500 yards that that freshman year sharing carries with i believe a junior um at old miss so like this this is not uh, uh, this this seems like something unprecedented unless it was for money. A lot of people assumed it was money. Ohio State got a lot of money. A.J. Hawk and his crimson chin just be backing up Brinks trucks every other Tuesday over there. So I'm not denying that. But it really does seem, if you look into it, like I said, Lane Kiffin had some quotes about, more specifically, hey, this guy might have not have been the fit. You know, he might have been a little selfish. It might have been a little too much about me. It it even came out that Quinchon Judkins was screaming at linemen. He he walked in to Lane Kiffin's office. I, 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 I'm assuming as a freshman, uh, uh, not probably 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 a sophomore, but walks into Lane Kiffin's offense and tries to tell him how to be used in the offense. And can I be honest with you? With 15 touchdowns, 1100 yards, um, and and, and then rookie year. 1500 yards i think it's hard for both angles i feel like quinshawn has got a good argument because hey i've been toting that thing but then on the other side with lane kiffin known to be an offensive guy yo we just had back-to-back a thousand yard rushing seasons with you we broke school records with you so that's an interesting thing and when he went ahead and transferred, Jackson Dart was doing some silly things. He 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 put some Tom Brady quotes talking about some selfishness. So it seems to be the theme with him, maybe a bit of selfishness, maybe a bit of character issues. But at the end of the day, I'd be mad too if I lost a player like Quinchon Junkins. So I think it's it's hard for me to take all those things uh, at real face value. Now, 
going for the comments for Quinshawn Junkins, right, when he was uh, being introduced at Ohio State, people pressed him about this conversation, right? The whole NIL situation. Is it about NIL? We know about AJ Hawk, his crimson chin and all those monies out there. But he kind of re reiterated some of those things that I was talking about, right? He, he kind of hammered on the point that NIL, hey, is not the only reason why somebody would, would want to make that move, which because and the reporter asked a good question. He was like, you know, this is crazy. You're coming off a of, historic season and then another a thousand hundred yard season like everybody in the world is thinking nil and he's like nah man this is s sometimes and this is very important sometimes some people would just want to elevate their game and play at a different place i hey hey i, I can't be mad at him i, I think it, uh, just like Dion says there's not a lot of starters who transfer um and he i think is one of those not a lot of it's very rare that people are transferring from big schools, SEC school, SEC schools to other big schools like this. Um, so I'm just interested to see how it plays out. But that is Quinshawn Junkins, the player that is making it hell for your ultimate team sessions, for your head to head sessions. Just a little breakdown of him, a little preview going into the season. I know we're going to have new college football fans with college football 25. Hope you all enjoying it. Hope it's not getting too glitchy. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I appreciate you watching. I hope you even like if you liked it, dislike if you didn't like it. Tell me in the comment what you didn't like. Tell me in the comment what glitchy player is better than Quinshawn Junkins. Do I need to do another video? I think I got some ideas in my head but also let me know what your team is in college football are you watching are you an nfl guy are you a madden guy man you just be amazing you be blessed you be better than the best man we'll see you next time